know, we as a culture need to celebrate black history 365 days a year. But we focus on it in our February, the shortest month of the year. It couldn't even contain us. Okay? Today we're paying a tribute um, to Maya Angelou. 1928 to 2014, she was a renowned American author, poet, civil rights activist, educator, and inspirational leader. She is best known for her work of the book, I Know What the Caged Bird Sang, which propelled her into literally starting icon. This mirrored her troubled childhood when she didn't speak for six years. Yeah. In 1993, she was the first American African woman to recite a poem at the president's inauguration. She was invited by President Bill Clinton. <clears throat> she um, was used as a platform with her voice to advocate for equality and uh, worked closely with Dr. King and Malcolm X. She was a humanitarian, an educator, an inspirational speaker, and she was a singer and dancer. Many people don't know that. <clears throat> she received so many awards. Um, she um, received um, in 2010 the Medal of Freedom, the highest civilian honor in the United States. She also was awarded the National Medal of Arts. She won three Grammy Awards for her spoken words, albums, and dozens of honorary, honorary degrees from your university worldwide. Now, the Fine Arts Ministry is going to um, celebrate her. And we're going to do the poem, Still I Rise by the music ministry accompanied with the piano and the dance ministry and the spoken word. So here we go. Yeah. You may write me down in history with your bitter, twisted lies. You may drive me in the very dirt, but you know, still I rise. Does my sassiness upset you? <laughs> Why you, are you set with me? Cause I walk like I got oil wells in my living room. But uh, just like moons and like suns with the sun tear up high, just like hope springing high, still I rise. Did you want to see me broken? Bowed head and lowered eyes, children falling down like teardrops, weakened by my soul. Slaves. 